Presenting to you Green Tea with Zaki, a chit chat with some of Smart Q's most celebrated people who have explored, evolved, and emerged into leaders, influencers, and champions in their roles. I am excited to play host with such extraordinary people who have done everything they can to build a name for themselves at Smart Q and also build Smart Q in the process. Stay tuned for Green Tea with Zaki and follow us on this evergreen journey with the extraordinary people of Smart Q. I started my career in finance in the year 2010 and it took me exactly 3 years, 333 days to realize that it wasn't my cup of tea. Well, today I have with me an individual who has understood that finance is his cup of tea, green tea, coconut water, black coffee and everything else that you could pour into a cup of tea. Welcome Kiran to Hi, Green Zaki. Tea with Zaki, the second episode. It's a pleasure to have you with us today and celebrate your achievements and growth at SmartQ. So today we look forward to having an excellent conversation and get started to know about your journey at SmartQ. So guys, we will start today's episode with Kiran aka the Kubera of SmartQ. I think this is a very good introduction. That's good to know. It started off on a good note. So, Kiran, the first question for you is, when did your journey with SmartQ start? So, uh, my journey started in the year 2016, Zaki. So, uh, this is my third company, to be frank. So, uh, initially I worked in an audit firm, post which I moved to M MNC. Uh, then I realized that MNC is not my um, cup of tea. Then I resigned it and I took a six months break between before joining SmartQ. So I was figuring out what to do in my life um, back then. Then I got this opportunity in SmartQ. Uh, knowing it's a startup, I know it was a risky uh, decision. But still, I took up believing in uh, uh, startups. Back then, startups uh, was a. Uh, I wanted something challenging in my life, so that's why I I, I thought SmartQ will be the right place where I can uh, my knowledge will be very much useful or my career will have a growth. Wow, that's amazing to know. Didn't know that that even you had the six month gap to figure out what you want to do next with in life. I had a very similar journey in that regard. After my startup went through a wind up phase, it took me six months to figure out what I should do next with life. And that brought me to SmartQ as well. So okay. that's something common <laughs> between us. Yeah. Okay. So that's good to know. Cool. So moving on to the second question, uh, Kiran. How would you like to describe your journey at SmartQ so far? Yeah. It has been six wonderful years. Congratulations on that. So, Thank you. if you could tell us in these six years how your journey has been at SmartQ. So, uh, it is nothing less than a roller coaster, right, exactly. So, I have seen all the ups and downs of SmartQ. So, more than anyone, anyone else in the company. So, what Krishna or Abhishek have seen, I also have seen. <laughs> so, uh, it, it is a roller coaster ride, and there was too many ups and downs, and finally, we are here. So I would like to state it as a wonderful experience. Okay. So started from the bottom, now we hear type of an answer. Um, we'd, Kiran, we'd love to know um, what is the things that in, you made me excited, like things that only Krishna and Abhishek and you have seen, that you have seen all that they have seen as well. Any any light you'd like to throw on that? So, uh, Krishna and Abhishek, so that I think so, I can't describe. Okay. <laughs> So, um, maybe when we have Krishna over at Green Tea with Zaki, we could probably ask him that question and see if he could fill in the gaps for us. <laughs> Amazing, um, Kiran, that's great to know. Six years is a long time and you've been a huge, huge role, the backbone of SmartQ, a one-man army, taking things on stride and standing firm in the toughest times. Like you said, a roller coaster journey is not easy and you've seen it from the start to where it's come now, from zero to hundred or one to 400 employees that we boast about now. So that's splendid, splendid stuff. Moving on, uh, Kiran. So we would love to know more about this roller coaster journey. Obviously, a roller coaster journey has its highs and lows. There have been tides that, that, that came in and there were ebbs and flows. So, what could you tell us about some of the highs and lows in these six years? So, uh, the lowest point would be obviously for anyone, uh, it would be the COVID time. So things were very blank at that time, like uh, things were very going good uh, pre-COVID and all of a sudden COVID stuck. Uh, I personally didn't know what the company is going to do going forward. So things were very blank. So uh, I, I was like trying to figure out like, uh, is this the end or 
do we have something going forward so those things were all running in my mind uh, from company point of view also from personal point of view also but then uh, as i said uh, the management was uh, very uh, attentive like i would say they were proactive so uh, they brought in uh, like uh, much much uh, much more uh, uh, so there was no business at the point of and they were able to bring in business to the company Got so it. that was the covid time hmm. so that would that was a very low point for the company right. and how uh, the management uh, responded the employees of the company responded so and that would also be the high the how we pull back uh, to a uh, back pull back that was a high point i would say understood so you're saying covid showed the true character of smart q of its employees of the yeah. management which could be the lowest point but turned out to be a boomerang effect drawing us back on top exactly. because we all stood together like one yes. as the family culture that we are so proud of and that brought us back on top exactly wonderful that's that's a brilliant way that kiran bought the family culture of ours into into play where covid was a downturn for everybody but family that sticks together grows together and comes out of situations together and that summarizes how smart you as a company stood through these challenges challenging times and came through on the top so uh, moving on kiran to question number 4 6 years would define something very special about smart you for you so what <coughs> according to you is the best part of working at smart you so giant smart you was it was itself itself a best part so apart from that the best part was that uh, when i joined into the company i was the only guy so there was no finance guy so there was only tech team there was only uh, 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 probably ops team or kind of yeah. thing so how these people treated with treated me like uh, they owned me for example if you look at baskar gulraj abhijit madhusudan and then nitin so these guys were all there for me all the time so they are, i would like to say they are beyond smart q like we would say uh, they are like a family so even if we meet like uh, a year later starting from today our bond will remain the same right so i would say that is the best part that has happened to me in smart q mm-hmm. so i have made some very good uh, friends who my Uh, in the smart queue got it so the best part of smart queue is its people and those close yes. connections you've built over the years yes. which go above and beyond work and are not limited to you or my finance professional but also from a from a personal life point of view where you've connected with so many people exactly got it that's that's fantastic to know, to know and some of the names that kiran pointed out guru raj nitin um uh, baskar have been there done that and have been through the similar journey have explored evolved and emerged and not just emerged in their roles but emerged as as a family of people who stand up for each other and that's exactly what kiran resonates with i forgot shravan also shravan so these names apologies if i missed out a few names that kiran said but these are some of the people that he has built these relationships with and taken things beyond work so that's great to know uh, kiran so now that you mentioned these names and these names echo a lot of sentiments and bring back nostalgia for you perhaps so what has been your experience of working with these people from a professional point of view from a professional point of view um, see they were, they were amazing uh, at the first point and uh, when it comes to finance it's so tech team we don't uh, relate to much we, we don't work too much with the tech team or something only <laughs> the thing we do is the building thing happen. yeah whether abhijit has given the sign off for me to build to uh, the client so this is the only thing that happens with uh, uh, tech team so uh, professionally uh, we work with ops guys a lot uh, like nitin madhusudan so all those things have happened uh, so uh, professionally also it's been a very good experience working with these guys amazing amazing so it has been a cross department experience for you because obviously people come to you when they need to build clients Correct. or when when it comes to the numbers game so you have those those i think it's 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 then when you really interact and speak to people Correct. professionally Correct. right so this brings me to the last question of the first segment um which is mention some of the eventful memories uh, that you have associated with smart queue these could be memories outside of work it could be anything that really really cheered you up and made you feel very special with this group of people uh one eventful memory is that we all have been to a like the company was very small at that time like maybe 
ट्वेंटी फाइव पीपल लॉल सो एवरी वन वेन टू ए ट्रिप टू चिकमंगलूर आई गेस इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग सो आई डोंट रिमेंबर द एग्जैक्ट सो दैट वी स्टेट वॉज देयर फॉर थ्री डेज सो दैट वो दैट वुड दैट आई वुड से दैट्स द वेरी बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द इवेंटफुल पार्ट वेर वी एंजॉय टू द कोर वी Uh, everything like we everyone forgot the office uh, life everything was done and we lived there like their family and we enjoyed to the core so yes. i would like that i would like to say that was the best part of uh, beautiful so this was with the finance team or trip or was no, it no, with no, the whole it was the entire company oh yeah. wow and this was at a point when the company was how many employees uh that's 20 25 employees oh okay so it would be a very strong close knit community yeah, yeah. Uh, bonding that have happened this was i think way back in 2017 oh wow okay that's 5 years ago and that yeah. still holds such a special place in yes. heart so that's what smart you does to you it builds memories it it builds the memories and it it makes you feel special about you even if it's years or eons ago so that's that's basically how eventful your life is at smart you and people who are at smart you echo those sentiments and those feelings and with that answer with kiran that brings us to the end of the first segment of green tea with zaki with that we pause to take a sip of green tea and celebrate your journey and success kiran for the last 6 years cheers to that look forward to many more successful years at smart you sure sir. and we will be continuing our next round of conversation with kiran which is going to be a lot more fun exciting and hopefully kiran gives his answers to this most authentic self and we explore a side of him beyond work continuing my conversation with kiran aka kubera of finance of smart you The first segment revealed a lot of information about Kiran and his journey at SmartQ and why he deserves to be where he is at SmartQ and how he stood through the times and the test of times and emerged as a champion in his role as the head of finance. We move on to a much more fun segment which will bring us bring to light the lighter side of Kiran and maybe the naughtier side of Kiran hopefully it depends on how he answers. He does have a devilish smile when it comes so we are expecting that smile to play out today through the rapid fire question. So Kiran We have have with us a couple of questions curated from very close friends of yours in Smart You and your team as well. Okay. So we have made a concoction of these questions, and these questions are aimed at testing the waters a bit um, and trying to get to know you a little bit more deeper and the and the cooler or the naughtier or the whatever wittier side of you uh, besides the numbers that you bring to us at Smart You. So we'll begin with the rapid fire round with you, and we hope to see the best answers, authentic authentic answers. come out from sure. so let's begin the first question kiran titles you'd like to give with respect to work to the following people wasant wasant uh, ms master joy joy um <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> i can what all comes to your mind fastest answer that you can think fastest of fastest answer doesn't respond to calls revan revan uh, committed nazia nazia uh, again i am angry bird for nazia angry bird okay sachin calm calm <laughs> pranay pranay to uh, leadership qualities shravan Shravan again uh, uh, committed very much towards his work. All right. One of your team members is interested in knowing if yours was a love or arranged marriage. It's a love arranged marriage. Love arranged marriage. Okay. One of the team members wants to know your reason behind pursuing CA. CA? Uh, there's no specific reason as such. My dad's friend was a CA, so. That's why I took up CA. Okay. okay. Who was assigned as your buddy when you first joined SmartQ? My buddy. Uh, he is not with the company right now, but he's Nishant Shetty. Okay. And you're still friends with him? Yeah. We are still. Imitate two people from your team. Two people. Whom should I imitate? Anybody who you think you could do a best job of. Imitate. <laughs> uh i would like to imitate um, revanta please stage is yours so 
you can ask me some question like why is the invoice not raised or something kiran why is invoice not raised it is happening kiran like we are working on it so we need to create a company code like we need to onboard the client it is happening it will be done by end of the day <laughs> so it's always happening yeah basically driven any other member of your team or i can mimic rakesh wow would love to see that ಏ ಕಿರಣ್ ಯಾಕ್ರಿ ಆ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ತುಂಬ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರೀ ಆ ಶಾರದಾ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ತುಂಬ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಇದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅದು ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಕಿರಣ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ಕಿರಣ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ವಿತ್ ರಾಕೇಶ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋರ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಲವ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಡನ್ how challenging challenging is it to work overnight especially at month ends and when you have to close the company accounts and salaries it's very much challenging but it's also a responsibility to uh, close the things on time because there is lot is dependent on what we do uh, day in and day out so how much are the challenge is that it's our responsibility and right. we are committed to uh, closing closing all the uh, reportings on time with great power comes great responsibility and kiran just said it the way it had to be answered who is your boss and buddy at smart cube like a very very close buddy at smart cube very very close buddy uh, i would say nitin and madhu like i can't say one but okay if you say two nitin and madhu so. amazing okay in the rishta core values which letter from the core values of rishta define you the best <laughs> okay i i would say it out to you responsibility integrity servant leadership harmonious relationships with all thinking hatke analytical mindset and agility integrity 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 when it comes to numbers had to be integrity and we thank you for that because that's helps all of us and the company a long way describe your days when you had to manage sodexo coupons that's the i can't describe uh, you should go through that experience uh. so there was like uh, if you could uh, uh, you, if you could see our server room mm. so to that there was a server room uh, like that and the entire server room was filled with sodexos oh. so uh, i had to work months together to uh, encash those sodexos and obviously i i couldn't do it alone i Uh, brought in all the ops team ops guys <laughs> take guys everyone into the act and uh, uh, we all worked as a team and got it done wow. so okay. it was not only me uh, entire smart queue was there and we all worked as a team both as a team it was going to war each every day wow. every day again so <laughs> crazy so some experiences can't be described they have to be witnessed and experienced for yourself like how my time as a financial analyst in my beginning career was could never describe it it was a war every day had to go up and shop and you just go through it <laughs> what would you change if you were given the chance to become the finance minister <laughs> you ask me to become <laughs> uh <laughs> no comments, no comments. Okay. if not the field of finance what alternate career would you choose so alternate career i don't see myself in any other area no finance all things finance is your no, finance happened uh, just like that to me uh, otherwise if it didn't have happened i don't see any other i'm suitable for any other uh, career uh, okay the, kiran says yeah. he doesn't have any other career option in his mind but legend has it that kiran does great impressions of telugu movies and <laughs> loves the ca- loves the <laughs> the art of acting so um, maybe that's a side he didn't answer thinking we would ask him to imitate some actors but we will still make him do that <laughs> cool you know knows the angry bird of smart q but how come have you become so silent after marriage <laughs> <laughs> you are out to become one zaki so if you i think you are married and you know that so yeah. most of the employees when i joined to like the entire group was unmarried uh when i joined to smart cube we were all like 25 26 age group people and nitin madhu baskar were all just uh, 22 age group people so it was like all of it was like it went 
we went through a, uh, this phase of life all at once like mm. uh, uh, everyone like we uh, got married we had kids at the same time so uh, it feels that um, very good uh, what was the question <laughs> how about? how come you become so silent after ah, marriage yeah so when we were uh, that group of people uh, we used to uh, have that conversation like whether it may be madhu nitin or nikhil so who was my teammate previously then things were like that even now i am angry but uh, <laughs> you guys don't see a lot no. so so kiran says he's still angry it's not that marriage has made him angry it's just that we don't see that side i wonder where the anger is being channeled to but but uh, yeah a, a married man with a story uh, in his own way so yes so uh, Here's a question: Why are people so afraid of you? Is it because they have immense respect for you, or is it because you handle everybody's salary? Who is afraid of me? That's the question. We also, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Anyone is afraid of me. Uh, it's just we need, we get the things done from our uh, colleagues this way. That's it. Nothing more than that. Okay. So we're not going to actually hold their salary, but if we are, we are just using this term to get the things from done from ah, them. Smart, <laughs> smart, smart at smart you. Are you a manager only at SmartQ or at home also? Only at Smart. Only at SmartQ because obviously the manager at home is his wife. That's a <laughs> no brainer for a married <laughs> couple. Um despite crossing state borders every day to make it to office, what keeps you motivated to continue your SmartQ journey and uh, despite the distance, the long distances and the long commute? It has come naturally to me. Uh, so again what keeps me motivated is again day in and day out it's like as you said it's like going for a walk so the calls we get every day uh, the escalations that happens every day so uh, this all pushes us to streamline these things as early as possible uh, so that's why i push myself every day get up go into go into office resolve the things and streamline the things as early as possible so wow. that these things don't get happen amazing so that's clearly integrity again the responsibility factor of showing up getting your job done great power comes great responsibility all these things drive kiran back to office on a day to day basis because a lot of things get resolved uh, and he has to be present to make things happen and get things rolling especially from the finance point of view so kiran that's that's great to know and it really appreciate and respect that thanks you are a big fan of telugu movies imitate any one dialogue from your favorite movie <laughs> <laughs> no give it a shot try one dialogue no bro <laughs> no uh i think this will become a meme material uh, <laughs> okay um maybe kiran feels it become a meme material but i don't think so i think kiran you can give it a shot <laughs> one dialogue it would be not a meme material but a trademark of you beyond finance and the numbers that people will know you by uh and who knows some somebody from the film industry spot said you never know what might happen <laughs> so this dialogue is from uh, chatrapati uh so uh i'm not a very good dialogue delivery guy it's my brother actually who delivers a very good dialogue so i have learned a very small bit of it from him so i would like to say i don't know if it goes right or wrong that's okay we all here to have fun and just enjoy this interview okay <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Take your time. <laughs> Kiran getting to character. We can give him time. Vadu pote vidu vidu pote nenu nenu pote na amma amma kudu anta adhikaram kosam yevade na ega padite. Appal naidu. Dada giri kochina. Dauri jani kochina. Gunda izani kochina. Groupul katta jani kochina. Rajki am tochina. Raudi izam tochina. తీరాల్లో కెరటాలు ఎరుపురంగు తీసుకుని పోర్ట్ కోసం లెక్కన బోట్ ఎత్తుతాయి వావ్ దట్ వాజ్ ఇన్ క్రెడిబుల్ ఆల్ దో ఐ డెంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ ది థింగ్స్ ఈ సెడ్ బట్ బట్ ద వే ఈ సెడ్ ఇట్ గాట్ గూస్ పంప్స్ ఆన్ మై హ్యాండ్స్ సో కిరణ్ వుడ్ లవ్ టు నో ద ఇంగ్లీష్ వర్జన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ Uh, that's very hard okay. does it have a lot of words that can't be used on camera yeah <laughs> okay so for the sake of uh, profanity i can uh, say one more dialogue for oh english people please please 
ఇట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ ఫేమస్ లెజెండ్ మిస్టర్ బాలకృష్ణ తెలుగు యాక్టర్ సో డోంట్ ట్రబుల్ ద ట్రబుల్ ఇఫ్ యూ ట్రబుల్ ద ట్రబుల్ దెన్ ట్రబుల్ ట్రబుల్స్ యూ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ద ట్రబుల్ ఐ ఆమ్ ద ట్రూత్ నైస్ వెల్ సెడ్ వెల్ సెడ్ అమేజింగ్ విత్ కిరణ్ నాట్ వాంటింగ్ టు సే అ డైలాగ్ హెస్ అ టూ డైలాగ్స్ and although we put him in the trouble spot he has come back with a dialogue regarding trouble so don't trouble the trouble when it comes to finance and uh, and and uh, payroll and salaries because he's doing his best for us and we would love to continue appreciating kiran on this journey of success at smart q where he's done a splendid job explored evolved and emerged over the past 6 years coming through ranks coming through tides of challenges and coming to the top of the ladder where he basically heads the division of finance and has done amazing work for smart queue and that note kiran i would like to congratulate you again for completing 6 years at smart queue and Thank also you. present to you this hamper for doing the interview with us and taking time out of your very busy schedule i know how tough it might have been for you to take time off to do this with us so i really appreciate it so here's the hamper please enjoy it and would love for you to uh, share the video on, with your network and your with your family and sure. your friends and you know talk share a few words about how you felt the interview was so on that note would this brings us to the end of the second episode of green tea with zaki it was an amazing chat with the finance head of smart q it brought back some memories of my career during uh, when i was a financial professional um, and it was a, it was a great experience for me speaking to somebody who i don't get to interact with a lot because of different teams and less interaction from a professional point of view but truly this was a really great episode and an amazing time with kiran who i feel has also become a friend and a buddy at smart q so thank you kiran um, and that is the end of green tea with zaki episode number 2 thank you amazing the dialogues were like the killed it yeah was it good are you true huh not done